right, here we go. BC and AD in five minutes or less. I've had a lot of questions about this, so here we go. Keeping track of time dates back to the ancient Mesopotamians. There were many civilizations that had their own system of keeping track of years, but our modern system of numbering years was not developed until AD 525 by a man named Dionysius Exegius. Sorry for the bad pronunciation. Dionysius invented the system that has school children across the globe confused about what AD and BC stand for. So what do these letters mean? BC stands for before Christ. The term BC denotes uh, before the start of the era. For example, when you read 2500 BC out loud, it sounds like this, 2500 years before the birth of, birth of Christ. Naturally, it counts down to the birth of Christ. AD is an abbreviation for a Latin term, Anno Domini, which translates to in the year of the Lord. The term AD denotes years after the beginning of this era. When writing the dates, AD comes before the numbers. This labeling system has been in heavy use for close to 1500 years. So there's a common misconception out there and that it's that AD stands for after death, as in after the death of Jesus. That doesn't even make any sense. This would mean that the 33 years commonly associated with the life of Jesus would not be included in either of the BC or AD timescales. What's even more confusing to school children of the world is how these dates work. Think of time as a number line. All the years that came before Christ are counting down to his birth, or if you're mathlete, those are negative numbers. All the years after the birth of Jesus go up. These are positive numbers. Now I know what you're thinking. What if you don't believe in JC? Well, this dating system has been the unofficial global standard for many years. The system gained popularity when Charlemagne, or his friends called him Charles the Great, began using this system to date acts of government. Although there is a new way to refer to these years, the concept behind naming the years remains rooted in religion. So what do we use now? Well, since the later part of the 20th century, the use of BCE and CE have been popularized. Authors that wanted a more secular approach to the writing began referring to the years formerly known as before Christ to BCE, which stands for before the common era. The years formerly known as ED will now be referred to as CE, which stands for the common era. More and more books and scholars are using these terms in their writings. Well, are you wrong if you use the old method? No. Since the years in both methods of labeling are equivalent, you will not be punished for using either method. Just keep in mind you may get some looks of disgust from people who have no idea what you're talking about. It happens to me a lot. So ever since the Mesopotamians, people have been keeping track of time. It wasn't until 800s that people started using the ADBC method. Because the world was different in the 800s, our methods of labeling years have changed. For now, you're correct if you use either method of dating years. Well, that's our five minutes or less. Here's some sources. And some photo credits.